Barry Luz with Electro Voice and Pro Audio Land. We're talking about loudspeakers and amplifiers. We get asked a lot, well, how do I match the right amplifier with my loudspeaker? Well, the first thing you need to do is, of course, select the loudspeakers you need. And uh, a lot of factors will go into that, like the size of the building you're going to be playing in, how loud you need it to be, how far you need to throw the sound. Once you've selected the loudspeakers to do those things, then you select the amplifiers to power those loudspeakers. As we said in another video about impedance, loudspeakers have an impedance measured in ohms. When you look at the amplifier ratings, you'll see that their output is also rated in watts at an ohm. So uh, an amplifier that'll produce 400 watts at 4 ohms will power two 8 ohm loudspeakers with 400 watts. Now we have a lot of people that say, well, gee, why can't I buy a 200 watt amplifier and plug it into my 400 watt loudspeaker? Then I'll never blow the loudspeaker up. Actually, the opposite is true. If you underpower a loudspeaker, it's more uh, likely that you'll damage it or blow it up because the amplifier, when it's pushed to its maximum output, starts to produce distortion. And that is what damages or blows up a loudspeaker. So if you've got a 400 watt, or an 800 watt loudspeaker, you're going to want an amplifier that'll produce at that impedance, 8 ohms or 4 ohms, 400 watts or 800 watts of output at least.